Hello and welcome Cosmic Quantum Travelers. I hope you're doing good. Let me know how you feel actually in the comments because I would like to know how people are doing and how the pole shift from the mind directed realities and living to heart led living and life is going because the heart has eclipsed the ego mind and it's being transmuted and alchemized. So whatever you want to call it, ego death, which I don't really use the word, but yeah, we sometimes say, yeah, it's dying. As in the false self, false self, which is not our true self. And we have spoken about this in previous videos. So I'm not going to go too much into this, but maybe instead of ego self, we could say the true self. So that's really what we are rediscovering. That's lies beyond all of our traumas and wounds and stories and even our behaviors uh, who we think we are and the roles we play and the job we have or um, the place we live in the family we have so forth so forth everything is shifting as we're shifting literally the birth transduction records and have cleared out all the karmic residue and karmic load which is also the miasma and this is really all the you know inverted limiting thought forms beliefs which also then are connected to the ones wounds and traumas we have been through through the eons so everything has been fully cleared with the 23rd it was really like at a full clearing of the old template and the old false realities the old false memories memories um the false ego self all of these layers so and again it's been a long process but that was really a day where many have felt there's a total shift and literally the light love the truth has already won which it which it has anyway but we keep making it happen. We keep creating the magic because we are remembering fully what our roles are, what is our divine purpose, and to fully bring this into fruition as in fulfilling our own destiny. Because it's not just being handed to us on a silver platter. It's not happening by us just reading or watching videos or whatever it is. Even not just activations. I mean, it's really self-explanatory. It's everything. It's our life. But it's really us aligning with our true self, no matter what. And everything, your whole multidimensional self fully integrated. So all of your gifts, your abilities, all of your crazy, unique, multidimensional self, fully mm -hmm. integrated, merged, unified, healed, purified into its true self. And we have a core frequency, our core soul frequency blueprint, which is kind of our original divine blueprint and a core essence that we always have. And that's been remembered, but we're also upgrading and expanding because this really has all been about the expansion of the one consciousness of merging service to self and service to others, shadow and light, the good and the bad, right and wrong, the evil and the God self, all of these parts, the masculine, feminine, right and left brain, and also matter antimatter at universal and cosmic levels. So this is a massive cosmic reset undertaking that's fully completing now. And we are doing another activation, apparently. I really had to fight with myself on this one. I mean, the fight doesn't last long, but I was a bit pissed because I'm like, also, am I really still doing this? I have been beyond tired this whole April. It's been a lot. And just at energetic level, just so exhausted. And I had, this is the third group call. And I don't think I've ever done three group calls um, in a month. And none of them are planned. They just come in, as you can see, last minute. So it's on the 27th. Anyway, and it's really for us to lift this last load of especially the heaviness, the nervousness, the fears around the heart, for us to fully open it. Because the cosmic heart mind is online, we're fully connected interdimensionally with all of our parts, bringing everything together, fully merging that. And yes, we're all at slightly different points. I know many like me 
we've done a lot of the work and are just the forerunners. It doesn't really matter where we're at, okay? Because we all have good and bad days or moments, okay? It doesn't mean that even when we're forerunners or we're now, I feel many of us can feel now that we have literally our new self is fully online. And even though the physical realities might not have fully shifted yet as we wanted to, we can see the signs. And me also. Yesterday, it was on Monday, after the big Sunday, which was energetically, again, very exhausting because I do a lot of all of the cleanup work. So literally, planetary exorcisms <laughs> of remo removing all of these bad boys and girls and clearing the grids and activating them and interdimensional stargate work. This is a lot, just on that level. And I know many of us do similar work. So we need to honor that. As well as we had to bring all of our multidimensional selves online, really, this month. And really, it's full multidimensional integration of like having everything. Like I, I took on a lot. I also had a group container. Then I did a holiday with my daughter, which was also stressful just to organize last minute. Not to mention all the travel. I don't travel well. I'm really looking forward to teleportation. <laughs> so, but it's all been so worth it. Because again, we also combine the fun, the holiday with the grid work. You know, everything is this. It's all work play. That's the new normal. But it will be hopefully a lot less. Not hopefully, it will be a lot less from now on also for people like me who've been carrying a lot. Because more and more people are stepping up. And they have to, really. <laughs> it's been just too much. Like literally, it, I feel like I'm moving a big fat boulder up the hill mostly on my own with very little support and I know and I can feel now and I can see signs of support coming in and it's beautiful and I'm also happy about the container that I created and just to have that to feel like you know I can also exchange because for me it's all about you know equal exchanges I'm a you know human god person as we all are the divine human as in we're merging all of these parts and it doesn't mean that we're perfect even when I can teach and share a lot um, and how, you know, I'm a big activator for people, that still doesn't mean, you know, again, I watch my own videos, the activations also are for me. So what we're doing is on the 27th at 2222, we start. Um, it's going to be a shorter call, I'm feeling. It will be mostly about the activation. It's also priced at 1111 for seven, several reasons, several reasons. Mostly, it's a big awakening number. So it's the whole code behind it. And it's also a twin flame number and very much connected to the heart. So that, and then also because it's the third call and the other two calls were priced at 22, 22, which again, you know, I mean, these are just, in the end, they carry a lot more value, but it's not about money. But again, it's also for me, I'm not doing these activations anymore live really on YouTube because it's just too much interference in the field. So I need these containers like this. This is kind of an open call, um, very affordable. Also, it's end of the month. And again, because I've already done two activations this month and, you know, um, so for several reasons, but mostly because it's the code really behind um, this. So, and for, for what for what we're doing. So it's not going to be a really long call. Um, so I think two, maybe three hours. And we do the activation, the live activation. We start at 11.11. And it's really a lot also about clearing out the whole astral layer and really finishing this now, okay? And please, God, make it so. Because we're all done here, okay? But again, we all need to pull our weight and if people get um because there's been a lot of anyway um i do this after let me finish so it's on the 27th it's a zoom call so at the 22 22 p.m uk time we start the live activation at 11 11 p.m uk time um there's also the replay will be available afterwards just click the link everything is in the description box beneath if you can't make the minimum donation, you can send me a quick and short and clear email. You don't have to explain why you can't, just that you need access. So that's okay. All right. Um, 
just I also do obviously appreciate the support back because again these are also about energy exchanges whilst we're still dealing with the silly money so um but it's really going to be very much about clearing out the astral clearing out the heart chakra from our own individual selves clearing all the remnants of what has been I can feel the mad. I need this activation. And as soon as I started working on it and then came in and I was first one, really, I'm like, I'm so tired. But I feel better now. It started to feel better. So the activations are already, especially since I posted the, the and usually I would have posted it after or with just this video, but I was guided to post it first. So the description of the activation and as soon as i did that the activations came in so there's a lot coming in for this because this is really it as far as i can see generally speaking but obviously this is what my future self has done in order to make it happen and that's how you need to see so i need people to be really on board who are ready for the acceleration my activations and calls are very powerful okay so it's not just about false love bliss although that's definitely what we're activating here because we're ready for the love bliss the joy literally bringing peace harmony and freedom back to humanity and all willing heart minds okay i'm getting tingles and i'm going to start crying because i really feel it's going to be huge so don't underestimate what a few people can do and i know what i'm here for and it's literally to get us all home to aromatina new ascension earth because this is very much about also anchoring the primal sound and light field so free for the free fold founder flame and kunda ray the extended kundalini currents and go beyond um you know basically connect us to the god worlds and it's also what we are merging with at um a 12 and 13 dean level where it's like 10 to 15 d is all kind of one now although we're really merging all of this but um that's really the kind of uh ascended earth level okay that's the lion stargate fully repaired that's uh, Martina, Ascension Earth, Aurora Earth, however some people want to call it. That's what I talk about. I don't talk about 5 or even 70 Earth, but again, it's beyond even those numbers. And yeah, so it's very much about healing all of the remaining pain, trauma, just the remnants from our field, the astral, the astral heart, the heart chakra of the Earth, fully igniting that, fully, fully bringing in the Holy Spirit, into our heart centers, fully igniting perm per our permanent seed atom, cosmic Christ seed, the uh, spark within our high heart. And again, each one as well individually is at a different point. So this is really also great, you know, help for everyone who's, you know, still has a lot to clear. But again, me also, I need some, you know, heart healing and we, you know, every, every, um, I know this is going to help a lot and it's already, happening and as soon as you sign up it starts happening as it does with these things so there's a lot that comes in before and after okay especially 48 72 hours before and after and again you know it's we're almost there but if you want to take part in the live or the replay the replay is just as powerful again the details are below how to do that and it's going to be heart opening and connecting bringing us all the way back home. The heart is really the key to all of this to really fully, like we're already in full flight mode. We are ascending, okay? I mean, especially since like the beginning of January. This is, but this is now the climaxing. So this is, I see the bullshit fully completing. I can feel it with my own field. There's just no more bullshit being tolerated. No more bullshit is going to come up once you really clear this in your field. Um, you're not going to go for the gaslighting anymore. There's a lot of blame in the field. Um, and this goes back right to the start of the masculine blaming the feminine. It's the gaslighting. And I've seen it so often when people like double down, like they can see that they're wrong and, you know, they have guilt and whatever coming in. They might even say sorry and they see it. But then they keep going back to, no, it's your fault. It's like you're doing this. And they just can't acknowledge. They can't go to that place of, fully acknowledging that everything they accused you of is what they're doing. It's just very hard. But yeah, at this point, you just need to let everybody be wherever they're at um, and just move on. And that's what we're doing. So this is full lift off, and we just need to cut out because of all this coming residues fully lifting. That's then also happening in our reality, in our realities. 
and we are now fully igniting the new earth realities as the old fully dissolves. It's happening simultaneously until that moment in no time. Any blinkling of an eye now, uh, where again, we fully shift the dream scene change. Okay, we are in the in-between already. And we are merging the higher dimensional realms and our multidimensional selves. And it's already online. It's just like in a magic now moment, we will actually be able to see it and fully feel it. Our, and that's also what the activation is about, also our Prices Sapphira, the new androgynous blueprint and the diamond rainbow plasma aurora light body and bubble and macabre vehicle is coming fully online. We'll also be activating the diamond white ankh body and it's really full multidimensional 360 degree excess. Okay, infinite multidimensional excess. Nothing less because we've got source consciousness embodied here, aren't we? We don't play small. Your belief system is literally your limit. So question, why do you believe what you believe? Question everything. Really, really important right now. Okay. Surrender it all to source as a child would do from a pure intent and heart. And just, you know, surrender it and ask the question. I asked, I asked to be shown the truth. Please show me the truth. Please. I want crystal clarity, whatever it means for me. You know, I've been through a whole redemption process of a battle process. I've been sorry and said sorry and made my peace on every level. That gives you a clear conscience. That's what makes you able to ascend. So it's all these suppressed parts that we all have. And this is right in the spiritual religious community. Never mind what the people out there are doing. What are we doing? And there's been so much blame on people like me for, ah, oh, why are we not there yet? That's usually coming from the people who are sitting there on the sidelines and not really doing anything. I can see, say with a clear conscience, I've done everything to bring us back home and we're there now anyway, but I keep making it happen and keep working my ass off because I have to keep pulling more weight and pushing more of a big stone with very few people because not everybody's on board yet. Because they rather hate on you than actually, you know, following and integrating and really implementing what I'm actually sharing. And that's the best part, you know, because this is this goes way beyond what's happening now. Because, again, everything is merging all the timelines. So that's what needs to be corrected. This is also connected to the fallen Melchizedek and the fallen Blu-ray. And... You know, all the distortions on those levels. Because actually, I said in my last video, the, distor the distortions were all the way up to 12D. It's even beyond that. It's the primal sound and light fields. That's what we're fully anchoring, corrected now. And we're just going to give it an extra good push. Because that's us running the rainbow rounds, the primal sound and light fields of creation to return original source creation to all realms through earth because earth is key earth is like the cosmic christ seed atom of creation it is and it all is ignited from here the crystalline core the crystalline permanent christ seed atom god seed atom in your high heart the spark within your heart it's all interconnected also with the pole shift and fully igniting new earth so we can see it that's turning off the false magnetic field and ozone layer which is all artificial and a false firmament and again it has already happened energetically what we keep needing to make it happen as in it's literally consciousness so this is about fully dissolving and clearing i mean it's also big dna activation because we're recoding the consciousness which is your dna blueprint and it's all about the original divine blueprints fully activating them plus upgrades which i'm here to bring and end kind of field so whether you take part or not, we're doing this on behalf of all, as always. So it's not necessary. Um, but it sure, first of all, helps and the collective, the more can take part, especially the more we really believe in this and are all in. It's the ones that believe they can change the world, that too. And that's what we're doing here. Every step, one moment after another, I constantly am being revealed more. I'm constantly fine-tuning what I'm receiving. I'm literally giving my best here and translating the multidimensional information as good as I can. And yeah, I also had a Monday the morning where it's like this in-body experience. And I actually had a meme 
on Facebook come up of this. You wake up in bed in the morning and it's like, oh, okay, here we are again. It's like the in-body experience instead of out-of-body. Like, it's a little joke anyway. So, yeah. Um, but then I could see my consciousness, like everything was shifting in the field and you need to kind of work through this real heaviness and you keep clearing it for the day, which I do every day for many, many years. So I know I've done my job. I do the best I can. Always take what resonates, leave the rest. It's all about what do you believe is possible? You know, negative aliens, those that are falling down with the matrix now, they don't believe true healing is possible. They don't believe ascension is really happening like where are you <laughs> on which side are you what do you believe what are you choosing you know and what you really have to look at is all the belief systems thought forms that are telling you that it's not happening and then question where they're coming from uh, because it's really just the fog fully dissolving right now okay and you just need to observe just being a zero point field of divine neutrality where you unify, integrate, merge the polarities within the Holy Trinity, which is also the Holy Grail. And then we become the gruel point, the grail point, the Holy Grail ourselves, where we've integrated masculine and feminine, we birth the Holy Child, the Holy Trinity, but also run the tri-wave, which is the three currents as one. That's also what the cosmic dragons do, the tri-luminaries. Uh, it's basically you have the polarities held within divine neutrality, within divine love. Um, so right now, you know, I can go for really deep clearings as well as pushing through it. You know, you're kind of holding both. You know, it's, everything is good. Everything is manifesting, but it's like, oh, you feel the tension like this, this geomagnetic solar storm. Wow. Uh, but afterwards, you know, I more felt it than as it was going on. Um, but yeah, that has integrated, activated a whole lot and it's still unfolding. And there's a lot more solar energy coming now. And that will also, I see, support us during the activation and the call. So be ready. Okay. All hearts and minds on deck. The Ascension Express is... We're flying already. Okay. So plasma wings still ready. This is also what's going to be activated really our superpowers i mean it's already happening okay so just be ready and keep merging with that keep activating your superpowers your crystalline structures your crystalline dna plasma diamond rainbow plasma light body from within you really feel into it you know it's like come up with your own activation talk to yourself record it you know it's so powerful make it up like trust your own inner knowing it's not that just one person knows better than you or there's one way of doing this, okay? It's you believing. And yes, of course, words carry frequencies and meaning. Um, but that's the thing. Once you know the certain words, you can then <clears throat> really use that, which I also do in my activations. You know, I speak English language. I give commands as well as light language, which is highly multidimensional. And really each time, you know, when you listen to an activation, you get something else out of it and everybody always gets what they need um but they are very powerful um you can also find details to my soundcloud for free activations underneath so anyway let's fully ignite the holy spirit the holy trinity and gray within okay it's us basically being in that ascended master consciousness the rishi consciousness and this is also what has been fully reset along with our shadow body distortions cleared uh, is the Russia body, dark matter body. And that's also clearing the way for the full merging and collision, unification of matter and antimatter universes. So it's going to be fun. We're creating something totally new, the antimatter. So, and again, it has all already happened. So what did you do in order to make it happen? Ask yourself, ask the question, clear your mind, get into a meditative state connect to source and from your heart ask the question and the answer might not come in a moment but it's that easy you just need to hone your connection to source be in service to all as you use your gifts and abilities you know ultimately what I do is fun it's just again it's a lot that I've been doing and I've been doing it on my own for various reasons and you know as many know that has been a story for many of us so we also know are now are claiming, first of all, our divine ancestral inherent inherit inheritance inheritance. I can't say the word. 
inheritance. After clearing all the crap of our ancestral lines, okay, and this is also connected to our spiritual lineages. So really, like when we're the children of God again, reborn as the golden child, the golden Christ child, the cosmic Christ, the Christ of Sapphira, we also, you know, what belongs to God belongs to us, which is us fully reclaiming. This is reclaiming the kingdom of heaven. And we all need to do that. We need to be the cosmic dragons, fully rising, the magic ray queens and kings, the cosmic triple divine masculine feminine, fully rising as one in true divine love with the hearts fully open now, okay? So we're letting go of all that was, all the heartbreak, all these memories, any remaining residue in our field and especially around our heart, the astral field, that's what's going to happen over the next few days one way or another in order to fully ignite it, okay? All the way. Turn and do the light and the shimmer and the shine all the way up and we are fucking rising fully now, okay? And yeah, and you need your dragon self and the dragon self, somebody said in the comment as if I'm portraying the dragons as predatory, which is projection. Never say anything alongside that. Um, That, yeah, they clear up a lot of the mess. Like I am here as the cosmic mother of dragons. We clear up a lot of the mess. So the, the Sophia dragons, the cosmic dragons, they clear up a lot of the astral layers and they're highly protective. But yeah, they're also fully gentle um, and they carry the wisdom and the divine blueprints, the cosmic history records within our divine blueprint. That's that aspect of us, okay? The triluminaries. So yeah, and they're more feathered than, you know, the reptilian type dragon that's been often sold to us. And um, a predator is someone who preys on the weak and the vulnerable and exploits them, defending our kingdom, our realities and our realms is a whole different matter. And we need to get to that point where you no, no longer just cruise around in a love and light community and think that that is kind of aggression or expressing anger or whatever else is, you know, um, along those lines or negative. There is a difference. There really is a difference. Being able to uh, put your foot down and maybe, you know, breathe some dragon fire down someone's neck when it's necessary. But you're not harming anyone as such. Although at the astral level, yeah, and we're sending all of these people back. But really it's happening through us anchoring higher frequencies, our higher consciousness, which ultimately dissolves just these distorted shadow aspects from within the one consciousness. You know, because we're still all... And it's a big message, responsible for our own individual realities and ascension. So yes, we're doing this all as one, but each individual fractal has to make their own decisions. And again, if you're going to stick to your ego and your storylines now, you're going down to the ship. If you don't want to transcend your guilt, shame, anger now and all this ego nonsense, you know, not everybody's making it. And again, also others are receiving healing after transition. Um, because the body is just too much digress to kind of make it. So again, it's a frequency one. Just by anchoring frequency, by running rainbow rounds and being in a higher consciousness, that's how you're helping ascension. That's the main job we have here, as well as clearing our template, which is basically one and the same. Um, so I just want to read this quickly out. The from Ascension Glossary about the threefold founder flame, because that's what we're fully igniting now, okay? Cosmically and planetary-wide within our own hearts. So the threefold founder flame and primal sound light fields of creation, along with the music of the spheres, have been fully corrected. That's not me. Now from Ascension Glossary. From within the Kunda ray, the living light rays of the universal trini trinity are formed. And what we refer to as the threefold founder flame of threefold flame of the solar rishi or brinal the first light manifestations of the emerald order and blue flame projected from the god source field the threefold founder flame or cosmic trinity the brinal our founder consciousness that's 13 to 15d solar rishi that direct support to the guardian founder races in the lower lower harmonic universe that are supporting god sovereign free liberation and the continued spiritual evolution of humanity towards the lower one now, we're fully completing this now. As we're merging fully with these ascended master aspects and those levels, I mean, it's already happening and beyond that. But this is what we're physicalizing. 
okay at least that's why i'm doing <clears throat> so join me one way or another uh if you like and once all nine dimensions of kundalini frequency are activated in the human light body and unified in the heart activation into the liquid plasmic light commences activating the crystals avatar consciousness into the higher rainbow fields known as the kundare Kundare is the rainbow field of the Ascended Master Christos Collective, the ancient builders and architects of creation, which unite with the Aurora rainbow fields of the same luminal crystal night principle, or the tritone luminaries from the Andromeda galaxy. I'm going to leave links below also with further information. Okay, again, take what resonates, leave the rest, but that's what we are anchoring, and this is what all of this is about. This is what also you are basically sound and light. So first of all, you have a dark matter Russia body, uh, then sound and light fields, and then it turns into more crystalline and denser and denser and denser realities and forms. Okay. So this is what informs the meta worlds of how to manifest because it's the same as I've been shown that the emerald ray uh, also it kind of acts like a green screen literally to our realities and that has also been corrected because the threefold fauna flame of the blue golden and amethyst ray comes from the um emerald ray so all of that has been fully activated the heart has been fully activated okay the astral been fully cleared let's clean up this ship let's do this one way or another and we also do this in our own realities as we no longer again allow the bullshit and we talked about this like in length so i'm not going to go over that you can look back at my last few videos that have loads of um really useful keys and codes and instruction sets timelessly they're quantum really there's usually just very few things that are really just right now that would be you know not as timeless because it's really all quantum that's what we have to remember okay it's like you build you build you build on top and it's all fully merging as one mm -hmm. and just the crap's being <laughs> returned to source and it's basically a re-encryption of our consciousness of our realities of our bodies a recoding so it's all about like i don't see this as a time for waiting at all or taking it slow whilst we also don't rush we don't push we don't control it's like both ends it's like you're in a total flow state and you know when to do and when to when to be just like I am. Sometimes I'm like, you know, um, I wanted to do a video yesterday, but just like, no, you need to just rest. Today I was also really freaking tired. <laughs> Again. Um, but you know, I was sure no, now you, you know, now it's time. Free, free, free. Because <laughs> it is. Um, so I just go with the flow, but sometimes I just let go, you know, I need more and more, like I'm managing more and more to take more and more frequent rests and just keep the balance constantly. So I'm able to do more where before the, you know, you would need more rest for rest for days and then, you know, you're more productive for days, but now it's like you can more balance it out, although we're not linear, but you get me throughout the day or, you know. It's less of these longer periods, the same as it's less, you know, now it's all happening. That's another thing of the tri-wave at once. So you're like clearing, upgrading, activating. Like, you, you know, it's like you can feel the bliss plus the, the tension and the clearings at the same time in a way. And you're holding it all within a zero point field because you're not supposed to like run after or run away from whether the good or the bad. Okay? You need to really embrace, learn to embrace it both and no longer resist negativity negative feelings or feeling bad and the more you can relax into everything and not judge it and resist it and push it away the easier all of this goes because now we just deal with it as it comes up we deal with it as it comes up constantly constantly transmuting mm -hmm. being the tri-wave that's been the holy trinity the holy grail you're the gruel point you're anchoring the higher frequencies coming into the planet you're clearing out what needs to go back all within a zero point field you hold in the polarities within that okay um and that's where you create and uncreate from the realities it doesn't mean you don't have any emotions it's just that you're holding them you know it's like this deep inner peace and contentment that nobody can take away from you now once you're there you're done okay and you feel our field is fully healing again we're doing this as one and everybody's getting there when they get there so don't compare yourself everything is fine whatever you're feeling you're feeling Again, I could feel bad tomorrow morning. I wasn't feeling great for the last two days. A lot of ouchies, loads. Like, I've just been so tired and exhausted. I just power through. That's what keeps me sane. <laughs> and I can't do any other way. Because even if I don't want to, 
sometimes um because i'm tired i guess they have to do it to get this all done okay so know when to do when to let it go when to let it be okay surrender but it's always both and you need to know now all the time it's not just just let it go or just don't do anything it's like from one now to the next you need to know what you are here supposed to do whilst you listen to your intuition no, never mind what i or anyone else says that's you being your highest authority that's what needs to happen you being your own guru having your own source access and knowing in every now moment what is the highest path for you highest action and you need to align again words thoughts beliefs feelings actions and the projections all with what you believe your reality should be like and this is really a big time for looking within to really see the truth because when we look out we dream always but this is where we're changing it from the inside out okay but you have to believe that it's already so because it is it really is it is done so the magic is awakening our dragon selves unicorn mer people lion people like Athens, ancient ones our higher multidimensional aspects the andromedan serians palladians venusians actuarians lions all multidimensionally multidimensionally merging and i know i don't sometimes speak so clearly it's very hard for me when the frequencies are so high i've also been lately very tired <laughs> but no that, that's i mean but anyway it's um yeah i do try my best but it's one of my challenges and i know i have an accent obviously but that's my charm so i'm not gonna get an accent coach or training <laughs> i leave that the way it is but i will try and speak more slowly without sounding crazy like right now it's again what's been transmitted is beyond the words and also people like you know i know people love activations but the videos i share everything i share what i write they are activations within themselves they literally help you clear heal balance harmonize and activate your whole field in your original divine blueprint you need for each now we create heaven on earth free everyone from the false matrix and you need to start with yourself or freeing yourself from limiting thought forms and belief systems that are telling you you're still in there and what makes you keep recreating the realities you don't want to live because now you're really the script writer again the director casting agent actor producer you're all of this cameraman okay so you're here to make the movie good. Have fun now with this because the inner Christ child is rebirthing. Again, each in their own time. It's fully here. The blueprint is fully online and it's just recreating all of the quantum, which is our multidimensional self. All of our keys and codes, all of our body parts, all of our multidimensional selves are being magnetized back to us, okay? As we are in full true divine love and they feel safe to return because you know how to hold the container how to discern, hold, how to hold boundaries, okay? And each one has this within themselves. So yeah, when the feminine says, you know, the masculine is there to protect her, but yeah, that's his original, I mean, that's what he's here for. But yeah, we have this in our own field, the same as that's not the only thing he's obviously doing. The same as, you know, she's doing that. Like we're all the masculine and feminine within. So we don't ultimately need another person Rufilus, because we are whole within and what also has happened with the twin flames and i said this before is that they split and now really what is happening is that they're multiplied because they kind of before they needed one another to feel whole but now it's like they're whole within themselves so as they come together they have multiplied uh in essence so to say which is what the whole again expansion of consciousness is also connected to and this is what happens every time and two or three uh, or more people come together and now co-create um, you know, like we in New Earth projects or however this comes about for calls, activations, you know, any way we exchange um, and then believe in something together um, because it's our power doubled or rather tripled and more, always multiplying, okay? And also the divine counterparts are, it's like one plus one is free because they're in divine union with God. That's the whole trinity, holy trinity, and that's what's happening in your own field. And then you birth in the Christ child, which is all of these things, masculine, feminine, and God, human and child, a human and God, human and God. 
golden child, the golden prize child, the children of God. What do you get me? Okay, whilst well, we're also now fully balanced and harmonized as masculine and feminine within between the heart and the mind, they are becoming one. So we're all balancing, merging, aligning these parts of us. Okay. I think I'm going to finish now. I share the rest on the call on Thursday. So really claim back all of your ancestral inheritance, claim back. It's really something that happens from deep, deep within, okay? So claim it all back, the same as body parts. Like, do it from your heart, a pure intention, okay? The more you do this, the stronger it gets. And, you know, we're always being tested in our faith. I mean, these are the initiations, you know? It's not like being handed to us on a silver platter. But now we're getting to the point where we're reaping what we have sown, okay? Each one, the reckoning, so to say, of you know as the karmic debt has been fully dissolved and that's debt forgiveness and that's our abundance because once that is what frees everyone when we forgive ourselves we forgive everyone else and we understand the higher order of things and that returns again everybody back to heaven on earth each goes transitions in their own way and it's not up to us Okay, we just do our best, what we've been shown on how to support, when to support, whom to support. Um, but we give everybody the gift of sovereignty. <laughs> and everybody has to claim their own liberation and freedom. And it is only as we take full responsibility and accountability. So people who blame, these are usually, you know, these accusations are usually self-confessions and they sometimes double down because it's just... Because they're caught in the ego, in the mind of not wanting to feel bad or, you know, blame the other person for feeling bad because they actually feel the guilt and the shame and know that they have some, done something wrong. And when you don't accept these projections anymore in your field, they return to sender, quite frankly. And that's what's happening now. So everybody's just shown what the truth is, one way or another. Now... Look within to truly see, make a lot of time. You know, we really have to become incorruptible because it's not about, you know, making money or being famous or having loads of followers or listeners. It's all about you coming from a truthful heart. Like, you know, I'm here for ascension. And, you know, most people I think can see that, that that's where I'm coming from. <laughs> that's what I'm here for. And I'm doing everything I can to make that happen. Because I know how much is involved in this. And I just want to end the suffering. Because, yeah, I know, you know, how this is going to end. So I feel very confident. And yes, overall, yes, of course, we want to relax. But we also, again, need to make it happen. Because it's like, okay, how long is it going to take us to get there? How much suffering do we still need to get through before people are really ready to let the fuck go? Now, I'm, I've been actually angry and frustrated early on. Because, again... It's this eon old story of like the feminine being blamed for what the masculine is doing. Again, the mind, okay? It's like, it's blaming the heart for misleading it. It's not, you didn't listen to it. You know, so it's happening within your own consciousness and then also with realities that you are co-creating. So anyway, the heart knows the way. All right, your mind will come up with a million reasons why not to. It's the collective ego going, ah. And I mentioned this many times before. Just don't listen to it. Observe, don't react. You just do actions once you have a clear mind and are rooted in your heart. And they feel good. They don't feel, they don't come from fear or, you know, closing down our hearts because you really are also going to clear the black heart affliction, which is something that many people, you know, connect with the um, fallen races or fallen angelics, but really it's, you know, something we all have where we just close our heart down. And if you do this for long enough and blame everyone else for everything that ever happened to you and you're like, you know, everything is against you, that's, you can't ascend that way, you know, and faking it doesn't make it <laughs> that way either. So again, you can't fake this. You really need to open your heart and that's being truthful. Love is truth. And again, it doesn't look like many people thought it would be that false love and light, you know, fake positivity and love. That's sweet, sweet, sickly love. So again, true divine love is tough love and gentle love within the neutrality of only love. Okay. And 
it's real it's not fake so you know you've seen a lot of spiritual leaders and that kind of sorts and a lot of them have been just fake like if you know like portraying some kind of again godliness that's not real okay and not really embodying what you're speaking about is what the problem has been and we're all doing this to a certain extent so we always have to you know clean our act up more when we're not in uh, full integrity and again me also but that's how I'm in, I'm in integrity because I know I'm not perfect how do I want to be Okay, but I'm constantly fine tuning. I work very hard on myself. I constantly contemplate. And I mean, I process so much information anyway. My little brain needs a holiday. And yeah, there's a big shift in roles coming up and it will be a forever holiday. Again, infinite abundance. Everybody is healed through the shift in consciousness. Our eternal uh, cosmic spirit body okay, coming fully online, eternal life, shape-shifting, teleporting, free travel. Everything is shared, infinite abundance, the forever holiday, because you no longer need to do the tedious, normal task. I mean, it's new earth realities. Okay, tune in and meditation, use my activations. I do know they help and I will connect you with that. Okay, also the last one uh, from the eclipse, eclipse in the heart, mind, um, and the free ones. You can see there are some new earth activations there as well. So anyway, I will leave it here. Remember just to celebrate any triggers that might come still up, okay? Don't judge them. Divine law for neutrality really dissolves the lower realities, okay? Just know that everything is kind of been co-created by you, but you can also say, okay, this is bullshit. That's you holding the zero point field in the Holy Trinity. Because I feel like this. I'm like, for oh, fuck's sake, what the fuck? <laughs> and it's like, at the same time, Totally perfect. I've literally created this myself. And I'm punching myself in the face here <laughs> if I asked for this. <laughs> so it's like, okay, this is fun. This is where you start to have fun. You go through clearings. This is the ease and grace I'm speaking about. So you're no longer taking this too seriously. And you can see the cosmic joke that you are co-creating all of this as one. Only then do you get to shift the realities when you're no longer the victim of whatever happens to you. And this is also when the bullshit ends, okay? Because it's, again, belief systems, BS. Um, that are not serving you, that are creating, and the expectations you have of your realities that are creating that, okay? But again, letting go of specific outcome, expectations to specific outcomes is really big. It's, a, it's very important. And I think we've learned that whenever we attach to anything, <laughs> there might still be something where we haven't let go of, it will come up and will be released from us. <laughs> Oh, we are being helped a lot. <laughs> Again, it's very self-explanatory right now, okay? So now, all aligns now as we're fully awaking from the quantum dream, as we fully align with our true self, okay? No more afraid, no more abandoning, rejecting, ostracizing, <laughs> suppressing, abandoning any parts of us, okay? Then people won't do it anymore either, and the right people will come to you, all right? Your soul tribe, you're calling them in now, the support, the resources, the abundance, inheritance, call it all forth as the golden Christ God child that you are, okay? Dream all your worlds into manifestation, allow God to dream through you, who is the one dreaming here anyway, who is the one speaking, okay? Um, and we are making this all up as we go along. So be an active participant and keep asking what is your highest divine purpose here? How are you helping us to quantum complete our ascension? Because everybody needs to be activated and online for this. Everybody needs to play their role. Everybody is important here, okay? Play your role well. Know it's a role. Detach from that identity and let your true self be shown to you, which has a lot of fun. It's like we are inventing a new, again, self. Um, that's totally the opposite of the false ego we have previously been suffering from that has created all of these inverted realities okay so free see through the illusions because that's what dissolves everything that's false okay and always will be and that is what is revealing the true organic realities now as well just don't i mean again your attention is your life force that's your true currency especially now on your earth okay know that it's already here Fully activated and ignited from within and especially your heart. Open it up wide. 
and um, let the love shine. Okay. Fill every cell, every atom, every particle and wave of your beingness and all the spaces in between with pure divine love. Your whole morphogenetic field. And let it all just be washed away. Like a light rain. Just absolute ease and grace. Just let it all go. Just surrender. Let the mind, God's mind, connect to the cosmic consciousness, the super consciousness field, the cosmic mind, okay? the cosmic heart mind. It's a new consciousness at one with itself, fully at peace, no more wars, no more nonsense, no more false, fucked up realities. Okay, how about that? Let's let's create that for a change and let's stay there. I think that's the plan. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. So let's do it. Become em empty. Let the Holy Spirit fu fulfill and work through you. And it's beyond speech. <laughs> it's beyond the words I'm using. It's the frequencies, keys and codes, just like out there. People can say a lot. And what are they really transmitting? What are they holding in their blueprint, in their consciousness? What are they really thinking? And that's what's being revealed now. Okay. So nothing to hide here. Nothing to run away from. Only to face and be brave. Okay. What are we even afraid of? Now, letting go the last bits of nervousness, fear, fully dissolved, absolute peace and grace. Yourself, you are protected, but always provided for. You are so loved. At one with source and all of life everywhere. Tera kena tero suna te aina kera isena takara tara yukuna shkene ta shu sa kena kera aina kara tatara kuna sena te. It's done. It's done. It's done. Okay, heart mind fully open, fully ignited. While coming back, manifesting heaven on earth from within you. It's a consciousness reward. Keep holding the frequency, keep holding the vision. That's what we came here for. Okay, it's not happening for us, it's happening through us. Be the active participant. Fulfill your own destiny. Okay, because no one is going to do this for you, quite frankly. Let's do this all as one. Okay, thank you so much for all your support. Any donations, anyone who wants to give more than the 11th, 11th also, thank you so much for anyone who does support me. Also like, share, subscribe, comment, also feedback. Um, You know, thank you so much. And uh, details are below and so many blessings. Um, All your dreams, the wildest, biggest dreams fulfilled. Okay, keep believing. This is the last bit. This is the last. It's fully dissolving fully evaporating all that was notice again take what resonates leave the rest that's what i'm seeing and i know others are too so so much love bye bye bye